Hey you guys, good morning. Today is Wednesday, January 31st. Um, I am doing a book haul video. I realize I haven't did a book haul video in a while. So I figured I couldn't sleep and you know I gotta go leave out an hour and a half to go to work. I got a short day today. So I figured why not do a book haul? Um the book haul the books I did get, um the book haul I'm going to talk about today is actually books I got from Simon & Schuster, which I received by the publisher um, for review. And let me do a disclaimer in this video. Um, we're going to talk about um, this book called The Butler, A Witness to History. It's by Will Haygood. And the foreword is actually by Lee Daniels. And this is actually inspired the um, motion picture. So this is a New York Times bestseller. Um... And I'm guessing it came out, well, actually, copyrighted in 2013, so I'm guessing the paperback version just came out this year. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. Um, I noticed now with Simon & Schuster, they put review copy not for sale on, like, the books now. I'm like, okay, cool, you know. Um, I haven't seen The Butler. I'm not a big movie person, you know. I just not a big movie person, but I might go see Black Panther though. That's the thing. But I'm not a huge movie person. So I'm definitely eager to read this book and see what's going on as well too. Um and the funny thing and the funny thing is about not even the funny thing, but the ironic thing is tomorrow is the first day of Black History Month. Although I do believe Black History is three hundred and sixty five days a year, seven days a week, twenty four hours a day. 366 if it's leap year though. Anywho, um, so I am eager about that book. So yeah. The other book I got in the mail was a book I have already called Never Caught. This is the Washington's Relentless Pursuit of the Runaway Slave Owner Judge. I actually got this in hardback when the author came down to the History Museum, the African American History Museum last year. And I got to meet her. She's really a she's really a nice person. And in this one, you see a lot on this one, you see a lot more of the reviews, a lot more blurbs from like the Philadelphia Inquirer, Essence Magazine, Kirkus Reviews. So this is definitely a good book. Um, I actually did a review on it already, so I will put that in the link bar below so you guys can check that full review out as well, too. And to me, I think this is good for people for um people who prefer paperback over hardback um books, because my copy, my original my copy I got was a hardback. So this is actually good for people that prefer um paperbacks. And I think this is good as well, too. Um it just came out of paperback, so yeah. The next book I want to talk about is Heart Talk by Cleo Wade. Um, let me see. Yeah. By Cleo Wade. Now, so far, the first two books, including this one, which I'm about to talk about, is under 37 Inc., which is the imprint of Atria. You know? So, yeah. Heart Talk is definitely about poetry. And um, Cleo Wade has a huge following. I just... I actually just started following her on Instagram when I got the book to see what she's talking about. But I have read it so far, but I'm not I can't give you a full review until I finish it. So far I am enjoying it. And it definitely talks about things you go get in life and things like that. Or for a better life, like positively, negatively, things like that. Once I I'm gonna do a separate review on that one, but this is definitely for people who enjoy poetry, who enjoy um inspirational quotes and things as well too. So, yeah, we can definitely put that aside, too. And I'm definitely looking forward to finishing it. The Song and the Silence definitely has a lot to do with um, the Civil Rights Movement. Now, actually, um, yeah, definitely has a lot to do with the Civil Rights Movement. It's about family, race, and what's definitely revealed in a small town. And especially what's going on in this country right now, I think a lot of books dealing with our history and what we still struggle with that resonates today this is definitely a book I feel that everyone should get into, you know. Um, everyone should definitely look about family and race. The person is Yvette Johnson, and she is the director of the Booker Wright Project. And that is her granddaughter, so she wants to come up on, she came up on footage, wrote this book, did research and everything, you know. And, you know, of course, talk to her family about it because it's her, that was her grandfather. Um, I haven't got started on it yet, so once I get started on it, I am definitely going to give you a review on that one as well, too. 
Um, this has been really relaxing. I have never, I haven't did a book haul in a long time, a very long time. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about it. I'm very much ready for it. I'm just ready for what's going to happen in 2018. Anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching my book haul and, um, have a great rest of the day. If you don't have to work today, stay warm, bundle up, read a good book, watch a good TV program. Um, just enjoy. Do whatever. You know, it's Wednesday. Anyway, talk to you guys soon. Bye now.